It is your turn. It is your no. Go. It's been an ugly run for the Boilermaker program with six losing seasons in the last seven years, but the potential is there to improve in a big way if the quarterback situation is settled and Austin Appleby comes through as hoped for. Here's the deal with the 2015 Boilermakers. The offense has to get more big plays out of the passing game and the ground attack needs to come up with some big replacements. Fortunately, with all five starters back up front and with the top six wide receivers returning, there is hope. Defensively, the pass rush should be better all the linebackers are back and three starters return in the secondary. Now, the overall experience has to translate into production, especially with the passing game. The school of Drew Brees and Bob Greasy and Jim Everett and Len Dawson couldn't throw last year, finishing 121st in the nation in passing efficiency. The Boilermakers were wildly inconsistent and couldn't throw downfield, averaging just over five yards per attempt. So, with so many question marks, can head coach Daryl Hazel come up with a winner? Not quite yet, but the Boilermakers should be a lot better. They have to deal with a slew of rough games in the middle of the year. Getting Michigan State from the East to start out the Big Ten, Ten campaign won't help, but with Illinois and Indiana at home and with a few winnable non-conference games, being two wins better and coming in with five victories is a realistic goal. I'm Pete Futek. To dive deeper into the 2015 Boilermakers, check out the written preview on Campus Insiders.